Volkswagen will mass produce solid state batteries. In fact, Volkswagen planning a massive battery factory for solid state batteries, which could potentially give their cars up to a thousand miles of range. Now, I know this, guys, I do know that this sounds far fetched and ridiculous, and it's actually not. It is very possible that Volkswagen could have solid state batteries in their cars within the next couple of years. Now, you guys know what I think about Toyota and Nissan making those claims. Now, Toyota and Nissan have never, ever shown us the technology they say that they have. They have never provided any real facts, any battery chemistries. There's nothing. There's literally nothing. However, that is not the case for the Volkswagen Group. The Volkswagen Group have been very, very clear and transparent who they've invested in, American battery company, what that battery company is doing. Now, yes, could we know more? We could. But we know about a thousand times more about these batteries than the theoretical Disney batteries coming from these basically Japanese manufacturers that in my opinion should be sued. If the SEC was what it claimed to be, if it was about honesty and transparency, then there is no way in hell Toyota would not be in court right now for its insane claims. I mean, think about it, guys. If Tesla had promised solid state batteries would be in its cars in 2020, in all of its cars, and then 2021, and then 2022, and then kept on extending that for years and years and years, making these insane claims, right, to basically what would that be doing? What would investors think? They would think that that would be intended to prop up the price. What happens when Tesla does anything like that? They get their asses sued. The SEC comes down on them, but everyone attacks them. When Toyota does this, oh, no problems, not an issue. Now, Volkswagen, they haven't done this. They haven't made outrageous claims. In fact, Volkswagen have made no claims whatsoever. All we know is a press release with official information, not made up garbage. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, and you're watching The Electric Viking. I'll be at the Melbourne EV Show, the electric EV SUV show, which is on in about a month's time. I'd love to see you there. And if you want to catch up afterwards, feel free to get in contact, and that would be great. Now, guys, everything that I've said in the first few minutes of this video probably sounds like I'm ranting. I'm absolutely not. Everything I've said is completely factual. Now, sometimes, yeah, I mean, I get maybe a little carried away and maybe exaggerate a little, but I have not exaggerated here so far. Volkswagen's battery company, PowerCo, will mass produce solid state batteries based on QuantumScape technology. And QuantumScape, guys, yeah, you know, in the past, they have made some claims on their batteries that were a little bit excited. They were a little bit ahead of time, but they do provide us with details on their batteries, the technology. They are, there's very, very complex details that they've actually made public. A software, I'm like, oh, you got to share this with everyone else. I mean, can't other people maybe use some of your technology if they know this stuff, how your batteries work? But you know what? Transparency is important. And they've been very transparent over the last couple of years. Volkswagen said, with this cooperation, we aim to bring the most sustainable and cutting edge battery cells to our customers. Uh, he's the, uh, actually, Frank Blohm, the CEO of PowerCo, said, we have been collaborating and testing QuantumScape prototype cells for years now, and we are looking forward to bringing this technology of the future into serious production. QuantumScape's technology is poised to enter a pivotal stage where PowerCo's specialized expertise, resources, and global factories can help facilitate the transition to industrial scale production. Could this happen? It could, but no one really knows. Here's the big thing we don't know, the cost. How much will it cost to produce these batteries? I'm guessing Volkswagen's like, they know right now, it's not feasible. I mean, realistically, these batteries would be in Volkswagen EVs now if the costs were feasible, right? They're not. But Volkswagen clearly believe that if they are making gigawatt hour level numbers of these batteries, and I'll re reveal with you the numbers in a second, they believe if they're making huge amounts, like building a gigafactory, right? At that level, they can drastically reduce costs. And they're right. They're right about that. But the question is, how much can they reduce costs? Can they compete with CATL, with their new condensed battery? Volkswagen's PowerCo and QuantumScape signed an agreement to industrialize the latter's next generation solid state lithium metal battery technology. As per the agreement, QuantumScape will grant PowerCo uh, 
a non-exclusive license to mass produce its solid state batteries. Now, worth keeping in mind, the Volkswagen Group basically own, they own about, I believe, 16% of QuantumScape. With a non-exclusive license, PowerCo may produce up to 40 gigawatt hours of QuantumScape solid state batteries annually. Now, considering the ultra high energy density of these batteries, it's basically equivalent to producing, say, 80 gigawatt hours of lithium ion phosphate batteries. That's actually, that's actually a lot of batteries. The Volkswagen company may opt to expand production up to 80 gigawatt hours annually, enough to manufacture 1 million electric cars per year. But if these batteries were to go into smaller EVs, then that figure might be closer to 1.5 million. That's actually quite a lot of cars. QuantumScape's technology platform is based on the company's proprietary solid-state ceramic separator, which enables the use of a pure lithium metal anode, a transformative innovation that is designed for exceptional energy and power density, fast charging, and a robust safety profile. Now, we don't know exactly what the energy density is of these batteries. That is an issue. These batteries, though, have been tested in vehicles over the past six months. I don't know how that's gone, but I'm assuming it must have gone well for Volkswagen to be doing this. Besides Volkswagen, Toyota, Honda, and many more automakers have invested in the research and development of solid state batteries for electric vehicles. But companies like KTL or CATL and BYD, the two biggest battery companies in the world, they are investing together as well in solid state batteries, but they don't really believe that they are the solution for EVs. They don't believe that they're, they're ever really likely to be mainstream or at least not within the next 10 years. And I personally agree with them, but I could be wrong. What do you guys think? Tesla is clearly an outlier here. They have not invested heavily into solid state. Solid state batteries are expected to have some pretty big benefits, including increased energy density, faster charging and increased driving range. But when it comes to fast charging, uh, well, these Chinese companies, they're right. Uh, fast charging in a solid state battery is not an advantage. It's not gonna be faster. Uh, there's multiple Chinese car companies now that already have uh, battery packs that can charge at 500 kilowatt or, or in excess of that. And that's in the real world. So solid state is not going to be revolutionary in that area, but it will potentially be with energy density. Question here is, how many years will it take to ramp up production to get the cost of the batteries down? We don't know yet. And honestly, this is really up in the air, but at least the Volkswagen company actually have some real product here. This is not fake. The key thing to watch here, guys, is upon satisfactory technical progress. Now, that's what Volkswagen said here. Upon satisfactory technical progress, these will we'll make a factory to build 40 gigawatt hours of these batteries or, and potentially increase that to 80 gigawatt hours, but they're not quite there yet. Otherwise, they would not have said upon satisfactory technical progress. And that is where my concern comes into the issue here. What is the satisfactory technical progress that's needed before these batteries can be mass produced? Is it a small thing or is it a big thing? No one actually knows.